Hi, and welcome to the grouped bar graph customization tutorial. Let's get started by going to our project panel, go to the all graphs folder, and we're going to go to the grouped bar graph folder. Double click on the group vertical bar graph render. So we're opening this composition to show you uh, that this is a render comp where you can actually render this out on its own if you wanted to just make a movie with just this graph. We have a camera layer, which is uh, moving around. We have our two animated text layers here, and you can uh, customize those by double clicking on them. And you'll see they're highlighted in the comp viewer, which means you can type away now. If we go to our character panel, you can change the font, the color, and the size of the text. And uh, we also have the all caps option selected. If you deselect it, uh, your text will be re, uh, reverted back to your original form, original formatting. So click the all caps text um, button again to have it look similar to what we have in the preview. So now let's go ahead and enter our data for the vertical bar graph. If we double click on the enter vertical group bar graph data comp, which I just did for you, um, we'll open up this composition and in our first control layer, uh, we have a bar width, spacing, and symbol size. And this is where you can change the, the width of the bars, the space between the bars. So it's doing it by groups. And you can change uh, number size here, but we don't have numbers actually on this one. So next is a prefix and suffix. And this is mostly for any of the numbers that uh, that are on here. They have a prefix, so a symbol in front of the number and a symbol on the right side. So if you don't have exactly uh, five sets of data or if you need five different groups, uh, you can go to our control panel uh, for the bar width, spacing, and symbol size. You can turn off these groups and then you can increase the space between those bars so you can spread out that uh, chart a little bit more. If we go to our bar and number colors, you can change the colors here, obviously. You can click on the bar color 01. That will change our bar color and it will change our dot down here. Um, you can change the category text by double clicking and then you can enter your data there. You can make it all caps. You can move it over. Whoops. Using the position. And you can change the color here also. Um, we didn't want to lock you into a specific color for this um, in case you wanted to use a different color for the text. Um, you can do that as well. Now to enter your data, go to the enter group bar data here, a one layer, twirl that down, and you're going to want to double click on the second set of keyframes down here. So we'll double click on that and we can make that any number we want. And everything gets changed. And you can actually turn off uh, this third category here. You can click on that and you can just have just those two. So you can do like a comparison bar graph. And you can do that for each of these bars. So one more thing we have are our graph controls and that's this uh, last layer here. Um, if you select it, you go to our effects controls panel, you have all kinds of uh, options here. You can change the color of that grid, you can change the line thickness, you can change the units, the unit spacing. Uh, if you twirled open the shape layer and go to its contents, you can actually turn on these X and Y units if you wanted to. And you can control the uh, spacing between the grid lines. 